with Saint Ellie here, and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Vesperia. In the last episode, we got turned away at the door by Bellius's minion, Doho. And now we're kicking things off with a character skit. What are we here for? A town with a coliseum sure attracts a lot of different kinds of people, doesn't it? Yes, people are here for all sorts of reasons. Some come to fight, some come to watch. And then there's people like us, too. I wonder what other people think when they see us on the streets. Well, I'd say they think we're here for the fights. Maybe for you and Yuri, but I couldn't imagine Estelle as a gladiator if my life depended on it. What about me? Hmm, a lost child. Hey! Well then, what about all... Never mind. I know where this is going. Smart, Raven. Really smart. <laughs> anyway, before we do anything else, I want to check out this store really quick. There should be some pretty good things that we can get here. We're gonna upgrade Carol's weapon, might as well. And, uh, let's see, let's see. Ogre Sword! That is nice, and it sounds like it has some pretty good skills, too. Fatal Finish and Fatal Finish Plus. plus and Link Smash. Or Slash. How did I read Smash? Jeez. Anyway, let's see what else we can get. It would be nice if I could get that, but we don't quite have enough of the ingredients. Let's see what else. High power yo-yo plus one. Go ahead and get that for her. Uh, Tomahogany, that is way underpowered. Takemikazuchi, and let's see. Yeah, that's really great for him. As for this, knight armor. Anyone else? No? Yes? Let's see. Uh, let's get her in some new armor. Okay, I think we're just about done here. Go ahead and equip everything. He gets his Ogre Sword. His Knight Armor. She already has her yo-yo equipped. He gets his new sword. He gets hand-me-downs, as usual, and she gets her coat. And why is he not wearing the thing? I thought that he already had it equipped. There we go. And we are done. Actually, one more thing. Just one more. There we go. Just to feel safe. Ten there. Go all the way down and get a few more magic lens. Okay, now I'm satisfied. Okay, now we're gonna catch up with Raven at the inn. Hello, person. What, let me talk to you. Welcome, staying the night. I think a companion of ours should have already arrived. Did a cynical older man come in? Oh, he's a friend of yours? Your rooms have already been paid for, so please, make yourselves at home. Alright, let's go. Good idea. We've earned a good night's sleep. Are you missing the castle? No, I just... I thought I'd come out for some fresh air. I just can't shake those words Pharaoh said to me. Oh yeah. What was it again? The insipid poison of this world must be purged. The world's poison? Hmm. Yeah, well, the world is full of pessimists, that's for sure. For what it's worth, you don't look like poison to me. Was that your attempt to cheer me up? Hey, I'm just trying to be straight with you. <laughs> I guess I do feel a little better. Hey! Yuri, look at that! Hmm? That's Brave Vesperia. The brightest star in the night sky. There's an old story about that star. In the days of old, a great cataclysm occurred that plunged the world into ruin. Countless lives were lost as the people struggled to stand against the oncoming disaster. Its energies all but spent, humanity's hope seemed lost when a pair of siblings appeared. This brother and sister together fought the calamity and saved the world from annihilation. 
The sister they called Child of the Full Moon. After the struggle, she remained with the Earth. Her brother they called Brave Vesperia, and he ascended to the skies to watch over the world. The End. Wow, so you went and gave our guild a name with a lot of baggage. Now that you know the story, you should strive to make your guild shine as bright as the star. Yeah, we'll have to tell Carol about this. We'll definitely have to live up to the name. I'm gonna head back. You should too, or Rita's gonna start worrying about you. Okay. back in the party and Estelle just had to go and give our name or get a name rather with a lot of baggage like Yuri said well not like they weren't already planning on living up to it anyway we want to come out here and this place looks even cooler during the daytime minus all the torches the torches are pretty cool themselves and we have a scene here you started all this well what are you talking about but both of you, s stop this nonsense, making a scene like this out in front of everyone. Mind your own business. That dude could not stop a fight to save his life. You'd better put that away before you hurt yourself. And here comes Judith. Neither of them can leave things well enough alone, seriously. Jeez. And there they go. Are you okay? Oh, the thank you so much. You were with Madam President Kaufman. We're the guild, brave Vesperia. Come on, you're like a walking billboard. He is. Talk about constant advertisement. You're a gay of Ruinsgate, right? I'm sorry, but I really cannot say the name for gay with a straight face. I really can't. <laughs> oh boy. You might want to work out a little before you go try trying to stop any more fights. Oh yes, I'm sorry. Thanks. Oh, um, there's a f favor I wanted to ask of you. Far be it to, for us to ignore a request from the Ruins Gate. Well, it depends on what it is. What did you want to ask us? Okay. So he's running off. Whatever he has to say, he doesn't want anyone else to overhear. Sounds pretty suspicious to me. Okay. Get too greedy with jobs and you'll end up negle neglecting all of them. Our job for the moment is to help look for a pharaoh and to escort Estelle. Yeah, Carol, don't you know better? Yeah, maybe you're right. If he asks too much, we'll just say no. We don't have the time to be getting wrapped up in more craziness. But that's what you guys do best! Okay, we should be going to go and meet up with Gay, but not yet. We want to check something else out first. Talk to these two. And... They say two more people went missing last night. You'd think people would know better with that guild's reputation for loan sharking, but I guess the tourists don't have any idea what they're getting into. Isn't the guild in cahoots with the tipsters? Nordopolica regulars wouldn't fall for a scam like that. Where do they take the people that go missing? Who can say, but no one ever comes back, that's for sure. Okay, so looks like we have a bit of trouble here. We're gonna go ahead and go up here. Up, up, up. And go back into the Colosseum. Just keep going, just keep going. There we go. And now, instead of meeting up with Vergay, we are going to make him wait forever. We're going to stay at the inn. <laughs> Welcome to Nordopolica's lodging facilities. It's 500 gold a night. Come on, that's a ripoff. Don't worry, I'm just going to check out that rumor I heard today about people in town disappearing. Okay. Let's go like the wind, Yuri. Yeek! Someone help me! 
Not only do you team up with the tipsters to rip off innocent customers, but then you kidnap people who couldn't pay their debts and do away with them. You dirty piece of slime. This is what you deserve. And... Murder. Yuri just witnessed a murder scene. And he's letting the criminal just run off. Who was that guy? And what was that? Kind of looks like what Yuri did to Rago just a few episodes ago. And from witnessing a murder, we got a new art. Yep, gotta love it. He is a really quick learner to just watch someone kill someone once to learn a new art. But anyway, next time we get into a fight, we're going to be looking at that shining eagle art that we just got. Okay, now we're going to come right over here. And there's Regay, but we're ignoring him for now because look who's up there. I'm sorry, but the Duce is not currently receiving visitors. Please come back later. Hey, we keep bumping into each other. It must be fate. There is no such thing. Maybe not. What brings you to a place like this? I have come with tidings for the age-old master of this city. Thelius? Are you here on business with a guild or something? Probably not, right? It is nothing so vulgar as that. Vulgar? Alright, so what kind of noble errand are you on? I need not answer that. Don't tell me you're out to save the world or something. Man, what's with that guy? Okay, so he's as weird as ever. Anyway, now that we have all that done, we are finally going to give Vergay the attention that he wants. Ah, so you have come. My, my thanks to you all. Now please come with me. Relax. Nobody said we've decided to take the job yet. That can wait till you tell us what this is all about. Alright. I would like you to stop the man who is trying to take over Palastrale. Take over? This city? Hmm. The plot thickens. Why are you so interested in stopping them, though? It's not your guild, so why not just let it be? You see... We have been commissioned by Palastrale to investigate the ruins at the Colosseum. Huh. Yeah, come to think of it, this city's supposed to be super old. If s someone else took control, it would be discourteous to the Antelokea. Antelo what? Ah, oh, oh yes, m m my apologies. D do you not know of them? I have heard that th they are the ancient race who built this town and allow the guilds to be here. An ancient race, huh? Like the Kritya? Okay, so then who's this guy who's trying to rock the boat here? He he's the champion of the C Colosseum. Huh? What are you talking about? He is a man who has entered the tournaments to, to, to take on Palastrale directly. His c consecutive victories have brought him closer to B Bellius. This m man is terribly dangerous. If he is not s soon eliminated, I fear that B Bellius may be... So as long as he's winning, Paul Estrale couldn't get rid of him even if they wanted to. So, long story short, you want us to enter the tournament and beat him, right? Y yes, P please for forgive my asking. Jeez, why didn't he just say so? Are you sure this guy is really trying to take over the Colosseum? Of c c course, and he's being b b backed by Le Le Leviathan's Claw. Le Le Leviathan's Claw plans to use the c c Colosseum for income to, to, to dominate the other guilds. That sounds like a plan someone like Hugh Moore might come up with. No way! We already know Qmor and Leviathan's Claw are working together. Hmm. Wonder what'll fall out of this tree if we shake it a little. Whatever happens, we have to stop Leviathan's Claw. Relations between the Empire and the Guilds will only worsen if we don't. What about Pharaoh? There's no telling when you'll be able to meet him if we get into this. Um... But... 
Estelle, what is it that you really want to do? What I really want to do? I... I beg your pardon. Is this a difficult decision for you all? There isn't anything difficult about it. What do you mean? We're going to do it, aren't we? We've listened to the story now, at any rate. Right! As a guild, this might not be something we can just ignore. So then, who'll be entering the tournament? Well, we can't ask Estelle, Rita, or Raven to participate. After all, this is a job Brave Vesperia will be doing for Ruins Gate. Okay, so... No hard feelings, but I'd rather not have to go up against Judy. Hmm? And I was just getting ready to enter. Oh well, I suppose I can sit this one out. The boss here shouldn't have to trouble himself with this. So it's up to me then, right? Um, right. So, d do you mean you'll take the job? Sure. Beating the champion will be good for our guild's reputation. It's not a bad deal for us at all. Yeah, you're right. I see. W well, please proceed to the registration area when, when you are ready. Okay, looks like we're getting our noses into something else now. Now, before you do anything, make sure you get all the supplies that you want, the new armor, the new weapons, everything, because we're going to be going into quite a few battles here. Anyway, now that we're done with all that, I am going to cut this episode here. So, in the next episode, we're going to be registering for the Coliseum Tournament. Masinala, out. <laughs>